Okay, let's talk about some more of our concepts. A bit. A bit is a binary digit. It's either a one or a zero. And it's the basis, uh, basis of digital broadcast, digital communication. A bit is, a, is an independent binary digit. It's either a one or a zero. And it uh, is used to, uh, as part of digital communication, digital recording. And so it's the individual one unit of a digital signal. And then we have a bit chain, which is a bunch of bits stuck together that contain more information. Uh, bit depth is a number of levels that a pixel might have. You know, uh, you might have a data word. You, so you have a bit, one or zero. Then you have a data word, data byte, whatever, and it's a grouping of bits that then forms a digital signal, okay? Then you can have, in television, we talk about bit depth, which is a number of levels that a pixel might have, such as 256 with an 8-bit depth, or 1024 with a 10-bit depth. Those are examples of, of how we express bit depth. And then, of course, the bit rate is really important. Um, you, you can determine the quality of a digital signal in these terms, sampling rate, bit depth, and then bit rate, okay? Whenever I go to make a recording and you're looking at a recording on a camera, uh, you, it, you'll have settings that determine your bit rate in megabits per second. And if you're running at five megabits per second, your recording is going to have a lot of loss of information. If you're recording at 40 megabits per second, your camera is going to have a whole lot more digital information. And so when I go to record, I'm aware that when I increase my bit rate on whatever it might be, whether it's QuickTime or whether it's MP4 or whether it's WMV or whether it's any of the more advanced codecs used in broadcast, the greater the bit rate that you're putting on your recording device, the, car, the harder the camera has to work the harder the recording device has to work and the faster it needs to be able to be. Uh, there's lots of times when I was making recordings on computers and the hard drive simply wasn't fast enough to take a certain bit rate. So I'd have to compromise and make sure that my bit rate was always slow enough to be accepted by the hard drive or the digital record media.